tonight on New Center. Campus prepares to switch to digital. Cross country hosts top high school runners. And the Vulcans take home the Cole Pale Trophy. New Center starts right now. Good evening and welcome to CUTV News Center for the week of October 23rd, 2014. I'm Matt Hagee. And I'm Jennifer Germano. In the coming week, Cal U's campus, as well as Vulcan Village, will be making a switch from analog to digital cable. There are some things students need to know before the switch. Contracts for the cable company usually run about seven, eight year cycles, and the contract's actually through the municipality, but the university has its own contract through SAI. So it's been quite a while because, you know, a cable company, when they're going to make, put money into it to change it up, they want a little bit longer of a contract. So Although it has been a few years since the last changes, it should not affect many students. In a separate interview, Keith Skirpin, the senior housing accountant for SAI, said that the only people negatively affected by this change will be anybody who has a television that is 10 or 15 years old and doesn't have a digital tuner built into it. After the changeover to, at the end of uh, October, uh, First thing they'll need to do is the cable will be plugged into the back of their TV like always. They'll have to grab their TV remote mm -hmm. and they'll have to do an auto, you know how you do the audio programming, it's always on there, and let it go through and grab all the channels. Meanwhile, we'll be handing out to all the students a channel lineup card. Because these are digital channels, they won't have the normal numbers that they're used to. For example, KDKA in HD, the number you're going to punch in if you want to go directly to it may be 3-1 mm -hmm. for a digital channel. But that's it. I mean, you know, there's going to be no extra cost. The channels are all going to be in HD. The changes to digital from analog are supposed to take place at the end of October, with notifications of the changes rolling out shortly. SAI is going to be sending out, like I said, announcements started probably next week, both uh, through emails. They're going to be having um, cable cards delivered that uh, Armstrong is printing up for us. So those are all going to get delivered up to Vulcan Village as well as on campus. There will be notifications in the newspaper. The American Democracy Project and the Cal Campaign Consultants are sponsoring Campaign Watch, which will serve as a lecture on the 2014 general election for the state of Pennsylvania. There will be discussions and updates on the Corbett Wolf governor race and also a forecast party control of the U.S. Senate. The event will be held on Tuesday, October 28th in room 408 inside the Mandarino Library. The Cal U Bookstore will be holding a graduation fair next Monday, October 27th from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. There will be many vendors in attendance including Balfour Class Rings, Grad Images Photography, Career Services, Framing Success Diploma Frames, Herf Jones Cap and Gowns, and PSCCU. All of these services will be available to graduating seniors for graduation day and life after graduation. The Activist Club is once again hosting the Cutest Pet at Cal U contest. Any student or staff member on campus can submit whatever pet they, they want. To vote, you simply just have to donate towards your favorite pet. The winner will be crowned Cal U's Cutest Pet and the person who submitted the photo will win a $20 gift card to Walmart. The entry fee for the pet pictures is $0.50 cents for students and $1 for faculty. To submit the photo, send the photo of the pet and its name, plus a short little bio, to Amber Preston at PRE6721 at calu.edu. This week in the Cal Times features a story on the Wood Street incident on Homecoming Saturday, a preview of the upcoming play in Steel Hall, and also a review of the Vulcans' big win against IUP in the Coal Bowl. So, Jen update on the UTAP challenge as I saw earlier and we are holding a 50 vote lead with one week to go against Scranton. I'm very, very happy when I see we that. We are. I'm, I'm excited to see that, just especially that we're still in lead against them because I know the very beginning they were beating us. So. Yeah, definitely. And if you're all there, just keep voting. We've got one week. Home stretch is there. I can see the victory in sight. Let's get it done. And when we come back, Matthew Riddle has your weather, weather report. Stay tuned. <laughs> 